What is up, people? It's Sanji, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. I'm making this video today, right now, just because there's apparently a new DLC coming out for Black Ops 4. By the way, dude, what the freak? Leaks, everything. I really don't even have to explain what the heck happened in the past day or so, because I think it's just absolutely absurd, man. I, I really just don't feel like talking about it because it's just weird. It's weird. It's like a mix of emotions. I'm hyped. I'm mad. I'm salty, toxic, everything, dude. I don't even know. Uh, we're going to be streaming the whole new event that's coming up on Black Ops 4 in about an hour and 20 minutes from now when I'm recording this video. Uh, new Operation Absolute Zero on Black Ops 4, which is apparently going to bring DLC 1 as well as the new map for Zombies, Dead of the Nights with a bunch of new weapons. The new Wonder Weapon on the map looks absolutely crazy as well. If you guys have not seen anything yet, try to stay spoiler free, but as what we've had yesterday with everything, it is pretty hard to stay spoiler free when you've had all of that information come out yesterday uh, with the actual gameplay of the map coming out and people actually already finding easter eggs and stuff, but oh well. And um, yeah, we're going to be streaming all that on the channel. If you guys want to stay on the grind with us, uh, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because that's going to be freaking lit. Yeah. And also, yeah, so I just want to talk a bit about the disaster that happened yesterday with the zombies and everything and why I think about it. Um, if you guys didn't know, the DLC got released on the New Zealand store, I think, and people are already playing the map as of right now as I speak and have been playing the map actually for, I think, 24 hours already and... Uh, they've found a bunch of easter eggs and everything like that already and it's been really weird man I think that um, this was the type of I don't know just kind of content drop that was supposed to revive Not only black ops 4 because it's been already dead for like a couple of weeks now because there's just like absolutely no content but um, Just the whole kind of call of duty cycle that has been going on for the past two years or like three years and with infinite warfare Call of Duty World War 2 the freaking you know the day before freaking we haven't even had a trailer for this DLC bro If you guys have been following infinite warfare and Call of Duty World War 2 for the past few years for zombies and stuff and just for the DLCs as a whole they don't market their DLCs anymore, nor their freaking just their little content drops that they do for the game, man. This op new operation should be marketed. I don't freaking know how to say this, dude. It should be marketed, dude. It should be marketed. They should make marketing about this. Just bring out some announcements, some communication, as the whole zombies community has been saying for the past two months. Some freaking communication would be awesome, man. And I think that's right now, Call of Duty is just absolutely atrocious with this little... I don't know how it's that hard to understand. Listen, dude. I, I really i am not saying that I can do their job better than them. Their game company, whatever. I'm a huge fan of their game. I just... I don't understand how it's that hard to have... Just a little bit of communication, man. I really wish that we had a little bit more communication between the actual game developers and the community. But you guys know, um, I talked about this in my last video, and they turned out to going by that route, man. They, I talked about, you know, the freaking day before trailer release dates. Um, just being released and then the day after the freaking you guys know what happened to the DLCs in the past games It was just so weird. No marketing releasing uh, the trailer after the DLC actually came out Absolutely no release date whatsoever for the DLCs or whatever and uh, That it seems like that's what they're doing with the DLC one for black ops 4 this year and it's just I don't know what to say about it. It's super weird and I don't know, dude. I talked about it in my last video. Seems like they decided to go that route. The worst possible route that they could have went, by the way, for just releasing this DLC. And um, especially, dude, it's DLC 1, bro. This is what is going to be selling the Black Ops Pass, the Season Pass, whatever you have to offer this year. And they just... They, they gone and done it, dude. They gone and done it. And of course, you know, it was supposed to kind of revive the zombies community or just the community in a whole for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 uh, with this new update, which, by the way, is and is not a good thing, but I'll talk about that in a second. But it was just supposed to revive the community. And, bro, they, they do this trash again, bro. It's just... Listen, I, I really didn't want to make a toxic video. I don't want to make it kind of like that toxic. But um, at this point, to be honest, it's just really awkward because uh, 
you know, everybody's been so toxic in the community for the recent past weeks, um, including myself and a lot of other people. And I think it's just like, dude, what the heck is going on? I'm hyped. I'm not really happy with the result that's coming up for the DLC. Like, I'm hyped for the DLC, but I I don't understand what's going on, dude. Like, I really wish that there's some type of communication or somewhat, I don't know, dude. It's just not gonna happen it seems like this DLC is a good thing. It's a good thing I'm really happy that they're bringing it out, but bro, we need like we needed this Content big bop drum bop freaking content that's coming out today to be a little bit spread out over the last like two months because this is what they said they would do um, before launch of the game, before the release, official release, the, the announcement. They said that they f they will drop more little teetsy drops of content, you know, throughout the year. And that's what we really need. We don't need a dry spots in between DLCs. We need little bitsy drops of content here and there. And I know that's pro what they're probably going to do with factions. I don't know if that's releasing today, but I think factions may be going to be releasing in 2019, but we'll have the proof of that today if that happens. But if they release factions today, dude, that just proves another, like, dude, they need to spread out their content because the way that they're going about it right now is just not the way they need to avoid the dry spots in call of duty, break the freaking cycle of dry spots. It's just, it's, it can't be that anymore for zombies nor just the whole game itself and especially zombies because zombies is no longer the secretive mode that's just a third party nowhere mode that nobody likes anymore it's i actually developed into a freaking community the community has loved what they did in the past i loved what they did in the past being all secretive about it but the community has evolved evolutionized bro and we are not in that era anymore they need to freaking do some new stuff bro more drops of content they i don't know i, I i'm being toxic right now boys i just want to say i'm really excited for this dlc and i'm really excited to play it on my channel i'm gonna leave that there for you guys to i don't know kind of think up upon and uh, i will see you guys with another well actually a bunch of freaking videos on the channel and streams as well so we're going to be seeing you guys on the channel later in a couple of minutes actually um and yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys do have a wonderful day, baby.